successful souls, this is Jen Lillian helping online spiritual coaches with their online spiritual coaching business to supercharge their results in the next nice days or less to success. Now this is the full version video and interview taken from the Soul Central Summit that was held on the 10th of June 2022 and it answers most common questions around the Akashic Records. So for example, what are the Akashic Records? How to access the Akashic Records? What you can expect when opening the Akashic Records? And also you can learn about the Akashic Records and how this can enhance your online coaching business. So if this sounds of interest, then feel free to watch the whole video. Um, there's going to be amazing nuggets for you. And it's all about understanding what the Akashic Records are, um, as it is the infinite knowledge of the universe. So here's a video. Enjoy, and I will see you in the next video. Fantastic. So again, welcome everyone. If you've just joined us, this is the 12.15 to 12.45 slot of the first ever Soul Central Summit. I'm here with the awesome Catherine Tack. She is our Akashic record reader and this lady here has touched my life in so many ways I can't even explain in a quick half an hour to you there's been so much that Catherine and I have been working on together as two awesome souls but I'm so honoured that you are here today we're here to basically learn about the Akashic records and how this can enhance your 5D online coaching business so thank you ever so much Catherine how are you today? Very good, Jen. Um, happy Friday and happy um, hello to everyone here. Very, very good to be here. Yes. Happy Friday. Where are you reporting from, just to let the audience know? Uh, we're uh, just just probably north of Milton Keynes in Northamptonshire, just on the north. Yeah, fantastic. The weather nice today. Yes, the sun is shining. There's a little bit of a cool breeze, but apart from that, it's the sun is shining, so you can't, can't go wrong with that. Blue skies, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic, all good stuff. So again, thanks so much for coming. And um, there are so many things when it comes to the Akashic Records that people have questions on. Now, um, depending on you guys as the viewer here today, um, you might have heard of the Akashic Records, you might have had a reading when it comes to opening your own Akashic Records. But um, really, basically, Catherine, the, the big question is like, what are the Akashic Records, whether people have heard about the Akashic Records or not? Yes, the big question. <laughs> I love that question, uh, Jen. Um, I think I will be able to explain it. So basically, the Akashic Records are a, um, a dynamic repository containing information about each and every soul on its journey. So the journey in this lifetime, all your past lives and in between your lives is too. Uh, plus there's also your possible futures are contained in this library. And I would say that the Akashic Records can be viewed as a dynamic and organic field of memory that contains also all your thoughts, anything we've said or done, um, anything we are intending to do. And because the uh, records are organic, they change when you change. So for example, if I've opened up your records, Jen, and uh, we're in the records together and a possible future comes forward for you, you can then choose to take action and bring that um, future into reality, or you can actually decide, no, I'm actually going to go on a totally different path. And the, the choice is always going to be yours. So the Akashic Record Keepers and Guides um, always give us free will. Uh, they always bring forward the beautiful message that you are a powerful co-creator and you have the ability to choose how to move forward in your life. So to reiterate, um, each person has their own records of their soul journey from the past, present, future, what they did between lives. Um, and the information contained in the Akashic Records is normally downloaded into your energy field when your soul is ready for certain learning or growth or evolution. Um, and I think just to summarize, it's fair to call the records um, a vibrational archive system of thoughts, words, emotions, actions generated by the soul experience as it begins. Um, and your record reader or guide, your earth representative, like someone like myself, translates this information, brings it forward for you. Um, and then you're able to then act on that information. And I think it's also fair to say that the records are more than just a reservoir of information. It's not just a reservoir. The records are um, a resource for us to tap into and discover 
why we have certain patterns recurring in our lives. Example, we keep dating the same type of men or women over and over and over again, or we cannot lose weight, or we are dissatisfied with our careers, our jobs. Uh, we always attract the wrong friends. Some people have come to me with that problem or even that we cannot say goodbye to a destructive personality, someone who brings us down repeatedly, but for some reason we just can't let go of them out of our lives. Um, so these are the kinds of things that we can discover inside the records, and we can also find out if perhaps we're a starseed. In other words, have you incarnated in another galaxy? Um, and if so, what does that mean to this lifetime, and what gifts will you be bringing forward? Uh, you can also find out what is your sole mission or purpose in this lifetime. Um, and I personally also work with people who wish to clear their karma. And we do that actually inside the records. Um, and I also help them on their road to discovering their magical, innate spiritual gifts. There was a lot there, Catherine. So to be <laughs> fair, for sure, you are a very seasoned Akashic record reader. You know a lot. So um, may I ask, how did you even begin to find out about the Akashic records? Um, it's an interesting question because um, many people say to me they've never heard of the Akashic records. What is that? And I, I felt I remember that day that I heard about the records so so long ago now. Um, but it was just like a, a light switch went off in my head boom, I need to know every single thing about this word, Kashuk Records. It was like something lit up inside of me. Um, and um, I can tell you how, how we, I help people to access the Kashuk Records uh, because, yeah, yeah because um, so, so many people come to me and say, oh, um, they, they read a book on how to access the records and it's just not happening. They, they read about this and it's just not, they can't get a connection. So I need to explain why. So firstly, you need to prepare your body to receive this very high vibrational information from the 11th dimension. And to give you some perspective about what that means. So for example, we're in the third dimension and this can be feeling very heavy, low vibrational at times. There's a lot of loss here, betrayal, guilt, shame, so many uh, difficult um, emotions and experiences that we have here. Now let's consider the fifth dimension, for example. Now a lot of people I think on this call will know roughly what the fifth dimension is and um, they'll know that it feels like heaven. So if you've ever had a day when just everything went so well for you, you had the best day ever, everything was just uh, fantastic, everything was synchronistic, uh, that can be mean you actually spent the day in the fifth dimension. So that's really, really wonderful. And um, I do help people to stay in the fifth dimension by I uh, help them to activate their Merkaba. So that's one of the workshops that I do to help you stay in the fifth dimension. That's where I wake up every day. Fifth dimension, yeah, let's go. Uh, but then let's just bring back to my um, original uh, discussion about dimensions. The sixth dimension is where we dream. Everything is possible. Everything is fluid but you can also be, feel quite spacey in the sixth dimension. It can feel unreal and you can feel off balance there. Um, and then, so imagine that's just the sixth um, dimension. So imagine jumping all the way up to the 11th dimension. Can you imagine how much of a gap that is? Um, and so your body might not be ready to receive the high vibrational information uh, from the record keeps and guides. So I tend to, uh, help them first by helping them activate their Merkaba and that pushes you into the fifth dimension automatically and your Merkaba to describe that is a, an energy field around your body uh, that is ready to be activated whenever you are ready to do so and it can be similar to imagining a spaceship around your body you can program it to take you places on journeys it can take you into different dimensions that sort of thing and that definitely helps um, pave the way to a very smooth connection with the record keepers and guides um, and uh, yeah so if you've read a book and try to access the records and it's not quite happening for you this could be the um, explanation and I think it's also um, important to attend a workshop where so for example, if you turn, attended my workshop on how to actually access the records, I will take you through step by step um, of what to expect, how the record keepers and guides communicate with us, what are the protocols, as in, you, you know, it's very important to be polite with them, 
because people can get pushed out of the records if they um, don't follow the certain protocols uh, and, and things like that. And um, I go through many exercises with you so that you understand that you have definitely made a connection uh, with the record keepers and guides. And I'll just show you what to look out for, the whole process, um, and hold your hand through this lovely journey. That's what I like to do anyway. And it is a lovely journey. Thanks so much for sharing. And when it comes to like the first moments when you remember the words the Akashic Records when it first comes into your, your life, or I remember my experience as well. It's like I felt literally the universe was helping me, like drive me to people like yourself. There's actually one other client in this whole path that I was on at that time. Um, and I didn't quite want to learn for some reason the Akashic Records through her and um, her she was so busy as, a, as an Akashic Record reader, um, it was obviously high demand for this line of work that I found out six months ago. And she she said to me, uh, she could only book me in three weeks time from when I actually messaged her. So um, that's when I found you. And then a few weeks later, you and I connected. So it was fantastic, right? It's, it's really good, I think, to follow. If you have like some energy towards just understanding or knowing about the Akashic Records more, please follow that because that's obviously a, um, a push in the right direction for you to explore this um, beautiful way of just understanding more about yourself, seeing if you are on the right path in your business and your life in general, um, how it's helped me and it might just also help the audience here just to understand a bit more. Um, you do just sometimes struggle with big questions um, uh, more so in, in my business life, I've had the, the struggles and, the, and, the, and the, the hard decisions to make because I've just been here, there and everywhere, having businesses in China and England. And, you know, if I had access to Akashic Records in my earlier um, business journey, then I'm sure I would be in a different position where I am now. I am happy where I am right now, but, <laughs> but once I had this um, knowledge of the Akashic Records with the help of yourself, Catherine, like things have just made um, so much of a difference in my life so it's such a powerful way to communicate you know to people who want to help you you know um, you don't I must admit the last six months I personally now don't feel on my own anymore and depending on where you are on your own um, spiritual journey because it can feel quite lonely on earth and then you find out that actually you've never been alone on earth before <laughs> you're just beginning to realize and wake up to this whole team that you have um around you all the time that are rooting for you that have you back and they're here to help you guide you through those big decisions so yeah, I just want to say thank you, Catherine, really from the bottom of my heart, it's like all the help and guidance and just knowledge around this area that you've given me in the last six months because that's how long we've been working together um, because it's just really opened up my life to just this whole new way of doing things in my business, on my own personal journey. And uh, yeah, I just feel so much more connected. It's lovely. So again, as mentioned, guys, those who are listening, if you are resonating with the Akashic Records in any way, shape or form, Catherine is definitely the person for you to message. Um, so uh, we have touched upon like what to expect during um, an Akashic record reading, but um, do you find any sort of commonalities, like the um, sort of common questions that people like to ask when um, wanting to access their records? Yeah, definitely. Um, t people do tend to focus on certain things like um, their uh, soul mates. It's a very good question to ask in the records if you're with the right soulmates or are there any soulmates available for you? Uh, that can be a very good one. And um, career and business path is very, very important. Now, it's interesting that an Akashic record reading is for your soul journey. So it's different to a psychic reading, which focuses on the here and now. The Akashic record reading is about the whole picture. We look at the whole big picture of you and therefore you can definitely ask about, um, you know, which types of uh, business people you should be working with, uh, what um, you can learn about uh, times that you are feeling trapped or subsumed or disappointed, times when you can't remember why you chose this particular family situation, like why did I choose that dad? Um, the records can help you learn about and heal and clear up your emotional pain. Uh, we have access to your guides, beings of light to keep an eye on you and all that information around you. And you can ask, um, I think it's quite good to ask about your mission and purpose as well. So that can be 
seen as part of your career, part of your business path, those sorts of things. Um, yeah, did I answer your question? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah because um, sometimes there might be, I mean, forgive me if I'm wrong, some anticipation or like maybe a, a slight fear about, well, what questions do I ask once you're there and you, you have full access to the record keepers yeah. and guys like, what do I ask from here? So yeah, it might just have um, helped people who are maybe yes. sort of thinking about what to ask, yeah. I have had people come forward and they haven't prepared any questions at all. And the guys just talk to them. They just download lots and lots of information. And I think it's worth um, noticing that there's an inherent intelligence in the Akashic Records as well. And the guys will bring forward information for you that's going to be very helpful for you. But they won't bring forward any information that they believe you're not ready to hear yet or that there's a reason why you shouldn't have that information. So they're quite selective about what they bring forward for you. And sometimes they don't answer a question. We just have to uh, deal with that and say, okay, well, they know better than we do about these things. So uh, yeah, but they would bring forward information uh, to give you, to bring forward opportunities and think of the information as an energetic source of opportunity where we can open up to the infinite circle of divine potential and where we can find guidance to create our own path, our own journey, and even create a brand new story for ourselves. They are very big on that. They'll often bring forward this information that you need to write a new story about what you want your life to look like. Uh, that is often what I do when I do the karma clearing as well for, for many people. Um, at, at the end, we write the guides ask you to write down a new story of you. So you can imagine here you are now and here's your new story. And then the guides know where to take you and how to close that gap. But if you don't write your new story, then where do you go? You don't know where you're going. There's no way to take you. Yeah. Mm, yeah, lovely. I like that. I know you're very big on um, sort of client confidentiality. You can't quite share exactly what happens when um, accessing the Akashic record re readers, so I can, uh, records, sorry, so I can sort of share my story just to again give more of a insight for the audience today. So um, I had questions around my twin flame connection and I had no idea how I pulled him in, <laughs> why I had to pull him in, why he was in my life. And I was just like completely overwhelmed by what do I do with this connection? But I, first, I don't know how I realized he was my twin flame. But anyway, long story short, the Akashic Records were, was also just around in my life um, at that time. And, you know, this is when I was in conversation with myself, Catherine. So I went into the records, you helped me access them. And uh, I asked... The big question is he really my twin flame yes he was and then what am i supposed to do with this twin flame connection ah oh, okay my question was answered at the time and um you know should we still be together because anyone who knows a twin flame connection it's not always straightforward <laughs> saying this with love my twin by the way if you are listening um but yeah it's it's quite a challenging connection obviously different to a soulmate connection so for me that's how it helped me but I've also accessed the records. I've learned how to do um, access records myself. And I will use that if I really need to for my own business. I've been in flow now for a very long time. So I don't feel I need to have any big questions on my side answered. But if you are just struggling or at a crossroads or just feeling quite overwhelmed with a love connection or a business decision or a family challenge, like Kathy, you've mentioned a few sort of situations already, that's when the Akashic Records really comes into play because you can go to a real safe place through a fantastic guide like yourself, Catherine, to help you get there. And you just have like, it feels like a whole weight has been lifted off your shoulders because they will guide you as to what you need to know at that time. And as you mentioned, Catherine, um, sometimes you don't always um, get told what you want to hear and they only tell you what you can handle. Is that right? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's a, a good way of putting it in. Yeah. Um, but then yeah. there's a second uh, way of using the uh, Akashic Records. So you can go and ask about your own business. Should I be dealing with this person? Should I, be, should I sell this product? Should I sell the service? Uh, that sort of thing. But then you can also ask, um, uh, you can also add Akashic Record readings to your own, add another string to your bow. So you can, so if you're already doing hypnosis, like the lovely Sarah Canwright will be speaking later today, she already did um, hypnosis. Then she learned how to access the records. And now she goes in, checks on somebody's records, 
sees what the problem is, where it's come from, and then she can tailor a hypnotic program for that person to help them um, achieve amazing results. And the same with Moira, for example, you mentioned her earlier. Again, the Akashic Records helped her to go in to the person's records, find out what's going on, and then improve the healing. And Lara will be um, speaking later today, the lovely Lara. Um, she does entity healing as well as the Akashic Records. I do the karma clearing as well as the Akashic Records. So um, the, often the guides lead the um, person who's accessing the records to a different path or to um, add different things together to make a new something. Um, so it can be very, very magical and help uh, everybody with their outcomes, their improved outcomes. Very magical. Yes, fantastic. Yes, in fact, we are all connected actually on this call through the Akashic Records and for good reason as well, because we're all individuals, we all have different offerings with our services that we bring and, and help others in, in the world. But um, yeah, we are all connected by the Akashic Records, which is lovely. So again, if you are resonating with the whole Akashic Record reading aspect, uh, then, then yeah, Catherine is your awesome lady. So if someone wanted to learn more from you, what, what, what would you suggest, Catherine? <laughs> Um, okay, well, we do definitely start with um, the process of helping them to, well, I, I think the best thing to do would be um, the eight-week course that I, I do offer is really the best place to start because we take you through your higher self workshop, the Merkabas level one and two, and then on to um, actually doing the readings. So that's going to prepare your body, soul and mind to um, be able to receive this information and then um, use uh, have the, all the benefits of it. Uh, so that's what I would suggest is for a start. Um, everything's available on my website, uh, Catherine, K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E hyphen tac, T-A-C-K dot uh, dot UK. Um, I've all, got all my courses available there. But I just wanted to end with one last magical thing about the Record Keepers and Guides, Jen. They, um, they, uh, another thing that they do is you can actually ask them to bring to you your soul clients. And they do that all the time. So I'll, I'll have a reading with somebody and they'll just say to me at the end, um, I was so drawn to connect to you personally and have my re reading done by you personally. And I'm so glad I did. It's like we just, um, the guides have brought to me the right people. And you can do that yourself as well. So you can, once you're in the records, um, you can actually speak to the guides and say to them, please just bring the right soul business people to me and um, it, it just feels incredibly magical to meet up with people that are on the same page as you and um, yeah and I just also wanted to mention that there are there's a huge call for new Akashic Record readers so the Record Keepers and Guides tell me all the time they're very um, keen for more more and more earth people earth, earth guides to come come forward and become Akashic Record readers uh, because it's not only going to help themselves, the peoples around them, but it's also going to help you um, with uh, Mother Earth, the, well, help Mother Earth with her transformation. So all our work today and our mission and purpose can also be linked to saving Mother Earth or assisting on her new magical transformation. So everything's connected. So humans are connected. Mother Earth is connected. We're connected to the guides um, and on the 11th dimension as well and it's uh, we all work together for uh, superior outcomes yeah fantastic um yeah going back to how the cash record um access and cash records and the guides there and and them sort of guiding you to the right person or that right client story going to you if you are the, the, the coach um there's nothing better than just working with a soul clients like everything just feels ah uh, just amazing. So before I met Catherine, um, I was in the health fitness and wellness space naturally because I was being, you know, uh, as a indoor cycling studio owner and, and instructor since 2012. And when I made the switch <laughs> to this new niche, um, yeah, things just changed because I had access to the records and I, I still do should I choose, I want to for my own benefit. But um, it does feel so nice when you work with the right clients for sure. So um, yeah, that's a very, very good thing for you to mention. So thanks, Catherine. Thanks, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, thank you. I mean, we've learned so much about the Akashic Records today. So thank you ever so much. It's been awesome. And they are 
there for you to access should you want to I mean no pressure from us at all if you are just curious even so just just you know keep it in mind uh, we are always around but let's say you are sort of struggling right now and you're just like at a crossroads and you feel a little bit sort of overwhelmed by maybe a decision you need to make like are you on the right business path because that is definitely a question I feel that comes through a lot we do have a fantastic gift and it is the are you on the right business path questionnaire so for those who are here on the call you have registered which is awesome if you are watching this right now on Facebook or maybe YouTube and you haven't registered for your seven free gifts that come with registering for this particular summit today um, message me or drop the link and you can get the seven gifts so Catherine's gift is are you on the right business path and within 25 questions you will know within a few minutes if you are on the right business path now I haven't been on the right business path in my 10 years of being a business owner I must admit and <laughs> I could have done with this tool <laughs> years ago um, and what's it feel like to be on the wrong business path well stress depression anxiety and um obviously worst case scenario but complete uh you know burnout which led to my depression i i was just doing way too much expanding businesses from china to england having a baby and all that time it was affecting my marriage at the time and it was just like i could have done with some help from me and guidance from the cash it records and you know team if i knew about them at that time but obviously I need to go through all that to help you guys today. So um, if you are just like, as I mentioned, at like a crossroads and you just like don't know where to turn, feel free to enjoy the quick few minutes answering the questions on that questionnaire, the are you on the right business path at all? And it will at least help you identify if you need to make changes in your life because um, it is obvious if you're not on the right business path that sometimes you just need to be told either by a tool or by a record keeper <laughs> or a coach like us, you know, like other ways of doing things in your life to make you feel that you are back on the right path. Because uh, obviously, naturally, if you're on the right path with your business journey and with your life in general, uh, you will feel a lot happier. So we want you to be at your natural happy state. That's all we are here to do, to get you back to your good self. So, yeah. Thank you, awesome. Any <laughs> any other yeah any other closing comments at all, Catherine? Anything else you might wish to add? I just wanted to say thank you so much for putting together the summit. It's a very very magical place, and I hope everybody gets the benefits out of it that um, they should do. And uh, yeah, thank you and uh, welcome everyone. And hello. So thank you. yes, there'll be many people watching the replay. So again, if you're watching the replay, uh, the replay, fantastic. Um, more information will be sent if you are just about to register. And uh, yeah, this will be going on YouTube. So I will be sending the information um, at a later date as and when. So Catherine, thanks ever so much. You've been a star as always. Thank you for your time, your effort and your, your energies as always. And um, yeah, we'll catch up soon. I'm gonna now press pause on this, not so much the recording. I'm just gonna shut down the, um, the video and we can all have a comfort break and then we can start again at 1 p.m. with the lovely Moira. Thanks, Catherine. See you soon. Many thanks for watching this video. If you're a coach, healer, therapist or practitioner and would like to supercharge your online coaching business, then feel free to hit the link below in the description box where you can receive the successful Six Figure Soul Roadmap and Training. It walks you through step by step on how to start, build and grow your online coaching business to success. See you in the next video.